Giving you answers about a significant property tax hike that could become reality. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Francis Weller. I'm John Evans. Many of you have reached out to us with concerns about that proposed 70% property tax increase in the town of Leland. And we took those concerns straight to one town leader today, the one who handles the money. WECT's Ava Brengord is back in the newsroom from Leland. Ava, people's main concern here is how their money will be spent. Yeah, that's right. People are questioning why they have to spend hundreds more in property taxes for what it seems like to cover town employee salary increases and retirement fund contributions listed on the proposed budget. I asked the town's finance director about that and several other concerns to help separate fact from fiction. Starting off, can you talk about what questions you've been getting from the public from residents in Leland and what seem to be their main concerns about this? I think the main concern is the amount of the increase, 70% all in one year. Most of the questions that we've received are what are these increases? What are the services that we are going to improve upon? Leland's finance director, Carly Hag, says the increased tax revenue will help improve roads, infrastructure, and emergency services, but some neighbors aren't convinced. Some residents are calling the town of Leland's administration quote, non-transparent over the inflated budget and exaggerated wish list. I mean, how would you respond to those claims? Um, this is this is council's budget. We've been talking about this for over eight months now. We have been answering every question that comes our way. I'm not sure how we could be more transparent. When it comes to Leland's proposed $56 million budget, some neighbors question the 57% increase in town administration's 401k contribution. The town contributes 5% of earnings to every employee's 401k. We're required by state statute to do that for all sworn police officers, and the town has decided to elect doing 5% for all staff members across the board. The town of Leland has been doing that for over a decade, and, and that remains the same in next year's budget. It's because the salaries are increasing, so it's th that is just a pure calculation on 5% of salaries is what we budget for. Why are salaries increasing? So salaries are increasing across the board. Um, we have a professional staff and we earn a professional wage. Um, we use the North Carolina League of Municipalities. They produce every year a salary benchmark and, and we're very comparable with others in the region. It's, I'm not sure where the narrative came that, that says that our salaries are so absorbent. Hag says the amount for salaries is going up as well with new employees, and it's all part of a growing Leland. It's one of the fastest growing towns in the state with new roads, businesses, and services that didn't exist just a few years ago. Hag says as the city continues to expand, it's going to cost. What would you say to people who are hoping or maybe have moved to Leland for, say, a cheaper cost of living? What would you say to those people? We're going to provide a level of service that we are asked to provide by our town council um, and the cost of those services are rising. So it's not our intention to raise taxes for people or, or higher the cost of living. It's our intention to provide excellent services to, to the citizens and that comes with a cost. And town leaders have previously said these tax rate increases would be on par with similar sized towns and cities across the state. So it's not an outlier here, but neighbors are understandably frustrated because the increases seem so sudden. Ava, you ask plenty of questions today. When will neighbors get to address town leaders? Yeah, so Leland will hold a public meeting this Thursday and people can weigh in on the tax hike at that meeting. All right, Ava, thanks so much for that update. A car fire is